pattern, patting, sorry, the ingredients you require are one putter, four tees and about a dozen golf balls. So let's get started. Let's measure out one putter in length from a, the hole on a flat surface. Then put a tee either side of the putter head at right angles to the intended line. Once we've got the line set up, we need to establish how far back and through the putter needs to travel to send the ball the required distance. As you can see here, I've set uh, T up roughly one putter head back and one putter head through for one putter in length. Now you can see the side view here. Very important with this that you use those two T's as an alignment for your putter face, then draw the putter back as far as the back T and through to the front T to make the ball go the required distance. As you can see, demonstrated here. Ideally, I'd like to see you sink 10 balls in succession from this length. So once you've achieved your goal, then go back to two putter lengths. Obviously something needs to change here, and that is the distance we draw the putter back and through. So for two putter lengths from the hole on a flat surface, we need to double the distance the putter head travels back and through, as demonstrated here. Once we're set, square the putter to the two tees and make it straight. Here we have a putting gear.